And um, here's how it looks as far as the Eastern Conference wildcard race. Frankie, you know, you'll Hound Dog makes a great point, our stats guy. If you're the Devils, you're the Caps, you're the Pens, you're the Isles. You're those Metro teams on the outside looking in. You're almost better to chase third in the Metro than you are the, the wild card at this point. For sure. And listen, all those teams have traits that can get them to the playoffs. Like, they're all built a little bit differently. The Pens, for me right now, might have the best chance out of all those teams. Just, I don't know, something about the Devils doesn't seem right. Like, Goaltending doesn't seem great. Like, yeah. defensively, they're not very well, we good. We saw it in those highlights. The Islanders haven't had, like, that sustained new coach bump. I don't know. It's it's, it's a weird time for some teams that you, you expected a little more from. Well, and Kyle Dubas, it's funny. Last Thursday, you and I were texting, like, oh, Kyle Dubas is having this press conference. We're all excited. He doesn't really say much, but he kind of said says, words. There he were said words. words. <laughs> he said he needed to see a push ahead of the trade deadline. Crosby leads the way with five, with the four points on Sunday, but now they're seven points out of a playoff spot. Um, do you think they got the GM's message? They're they're the most puzzling team. Uh, I would imagine they got the the GM's message, but they're the most puzzling team because defensively they're very good. They're right. a top five team when it comes to goals against in the NHL. Their goaltender save percentage is top ten in the NHL. But goals for, they're 23rd in the NHL, and their power play has been in the basement all season long. And they're the only non-playoff team that has a plus goal differential in the NHL. So all those things considered, when you take a look under the hood at what's been going on with the Pittsburgh Penguins, you think, okay, that's a team that things are going to correct themselves offensively, and they should be able to make a push for the playoffs. Now, you watch Pittsburgh play, and you see these like big egregious errors defensively mm -hmm. and the stats wouldn't tell you that that's happening a lot but it happens enough and that's part of what's puzzling because on this roster there's nine former Stanley Cup champions it's not a team of young kids who don't know how to play like it's guys that have been there and done it a yeah. coach that's been there and done it but you still watch them play and you're like what was like what was that momentary lapse in judgment and it happens a lot so like they'll have to find ways to win games instead of what they do a lot is find ways to lose games but if the offense comes I think they have a legitimate chance to make the playoffs I mean and it would be let's be honest a lot more fun to have Sid in the playoffs the, listen <laughs> Sid in the playoffs the the Penguins in the playoffs yeah. it's just it's better there's there's a certain buzz around that team and we've just been we've been so accustomed to seeing it yeah and it just the, the playoffs are a better place with certain teams and the Pittsburgh Penguins are one of those teams all due respect to the Islanders